All right. I hope you can all see my screen now. Oh, they can't hear me. I've muted all of them out. Can you all see my screen? Yes, yes, please. Okay. Yes. I hope you've all eaten very well. I have not eaten, but um, I'm sad the studio, and I know um, we'll be fine. Um, I won't take much of your time because I'm also tired past since Wednesday. So, later by 1 a.m. It will, it will not get to 2 a.m. It will just so that we all go and rest. All right. Thank you so much for agreeing to it. Agreement is what? Agreement. I hope you have agreed. No problem. Very no well. problem? No Did problem. I hear no problem? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. Yes, for sure. No problem. Okay. No problem. Today I'm not in office. I'm at home. So let me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's see um, what to start with. Um, okay, let me quickly start with IAS 24. Later party transaction. IS twenty four related party transaction. Okay, so let's see. Let me meet all of you then. Um, if you have a question, raise your hand. I will unmute you. Then you alone will talk. After that, you mute yourself. Okay. Now, when you talk of a related party transaction, I'm treating this topic because it's more um, theoretical. And if you don't have the basics, it means that even if I saw the question, it's a waste of time. So um, just permit me. I'm just taking about 10 minutes of your time to do that. When you talk of a related party, parties with an unbroken chain, related party, parties with with unbroken chain. What do I mean by unbroken chain? What do I mean by this? Unbroken chain may be in a form of significant influence. In a form of significant influence. Or it can be in a form of Control. Don't forget, all this should be in the operating and financial decisions of the entity. in the operating and financial decisions of the entity. Okay, so that is a related party, a related party. Now, transaction between these parties is what we call related party transaction. If there is any transaction between related parties, we call it related party transaction. Now, take note. 
for us to say that they are related parties, you should be able to establish a significant influence or control, except when the standard specifically states that these entities or individuals are related or parties. Okay. Let me start. Number one. P. Acquires sixty percent of S. Related parties here are P and S. Why? Because they are members of the same group. There's control. One controls the other. They are members of the same group. We are seeing them as one single heart undertaking. So we say members. of the same group. That is P group. Number two, P acquires S and then S acquired A. 30% Sixty percent. Now, related parties. The related parties are this P and S. Already, I've stated that they are members of the same group. P and A, because P has significant influence. P has significant influence. Influence in A. S and A are related parties. Why? Because P has influence in A and P is a member of P group. So long as you relate to a member of a group, you relate to the entire members of the group. A relates to a member. A member of P group. Once A relate to a member of P group, and we know S is a member of a P group, then all the members of P group here are related parties to, to A. Take note. Number three. Number three, and I want you to take an important note. P acquires S. A. B. 20%, 30%, Related parties. P and S is already established. P and A is already established. P and B is already established. S and A is already established. S and B is already established. What about A and B? A and B are not related parties. Why is A and B not related parties? Because we cannot establish any control or influence between them. No control or influence. Look at what is happening. A is not a member of P group. B is not a member of P group. And for that matter, P only influences A, the same P influences or B. It does not mean that A and B are related parties, no. P cannot use any of them to go and transact any business anywhere. 
but P controls S. So P can use S to transact business in A, to transact business in B. Therefore, S is related to A, S is related to B. Until that point where A and B, one of them becomes a subsidiary of P, then B will be a related party to, to A. Thank you. At this point, any question? Let me unmute you. At this point, any question? No, I think I said if you have a question, you raise your hand and I'll call you. So since no hand has been raised, let me continue to unmute you. Henry Metal, ask your question. Sorry, I didn't. Sorry, I didn't uh, omit you. Let me do that for you. you yeah, can hello. Talk. Yes, sir. Yeah. Say point three again. It's a little confusing because you made us know that uh, parties with unbroken chain A, B has a, split, a significant influence of A and S. But the point three, you made us aware that uh, A and B are not related. I'm yes. a little confused. So they are not related because there is no unbroken chain between them. There is no relationship between A and B. What is the relationship? There's no link. P is the one who links them, but P only has influence between them. And P cannot take any of them to go and transact business. Do you know that here, P cannot use A to go and transact business, but because P controls S, S can, uh, P can use S to transact business in A. That's why they are related. In fact, once P and S are members of the same group, then once you are related to one, you are related to all of them. A is not a member of P group. Therefore, B mm -hmm. cannot be a related party to A until one of them become a member of P group, then we will see P, S, and let's say A as one. Therefore, once B is related to P, then B is related to all of them. Oh, okay. Okay. Let me write this. Two associates cannot be related parties. I hope you are there. I hope you are there. Okay. Now, let's look at the next one. The next one has to do with the core complex, Kakra, but I know you understand. This is the parent. The parent has a subsidiary. The subsidiary also has sub subsidiary. They are all related parties. P, S, and SS are all related parties because they are all members of members of the same group. They are members of the same group, members of the same group. What about this joint venture? You have A and B. They all own 40%, 40%. A joint venture is a business or operation which is jointly controlled. An operation, that is what? jointly or controlled. So now the question is, what happens? Who are the related parties? A and the joint venture, they are related parties. B and the joint venture, they are related parties. But A and B 
are not. There's nothing between them. There's no influence, no control between A and B. They have no unbroken chain. You see, if you don't take care, you think that everyone is a related party. When you go further, you get to know that even your brother is not your related party. So if, if they are talking of family and friends, if an accountant and can be, it only raises ethical issues. Politically, they have their own issues. The fact that you give um, some offices to your family members, ethically, when they go wrong and you are supposed to punish them, you tend to be sober or you, you tend to be soft on them. Hard. It raises only, any, only ethical issues. Only ethical issues. From the point of view of accounting, as we are learning, IS 24, take note, John Mahama and the brother Ibrahim Mahama are not related parties. They are not. You understand? Let's move on. So these are the drawings that I'll give you. We have established the following. Members of the same group are related parties. Once an entity is related to a member of a group, then that entity is related to all the members of that group. Here we establish that two associates cannot be related or parties. Here we are established that the parent subsidiary and sub subsidiaries, they are all members of the parent group. And for that matter, they are all related parties. Here we have established that a joint venture is controlled, is jointly controlled. The joint ventures who jointly control a joint venture are not related parties because there is no unbroken or chain between them. Now, let me do a final drawing here. Final drawing. But before then, any questions, let me open up. If you have any question, raise your hand. I will meet you, then you talk. No question, okay. Okay, uh, let's see the final drawing. This is P. S E He management personnel with close family members. Now, this is what happens. A key management personnel may be a director, the CEO, a manager, manager who is involved in operating and financing decisions. Hey, the people we used to call receptionist. What is their new name now? Let me ask you. I don't want to say it. Who knows? Raise your hand. What is their new name for receptionist now? What is their new modern name? Doris and you answer this question. Omit yourself. 
I've, I've given you the opportunity to unmute yourself. Doris Eniu. Doris. They are called front desk executives. Front desk executives. Front desk executives. They are now calling themselves front. They are front line managers because now we are front line workers. So they are now taking the position of a manager, front line managers. And once you are calling them front line managers, you may think that they are key management personnel. They are not. They, they, they are not. They are not. They are talking of those who take part in the operating and financial decisions of an entity. Prisla, your hand is up. You can talk. I've uh, given you the chance to omit yourself. Prisla. Prisla, Redua Edison. Prissy. Robert, I wanted to say the front desk. Okay, okay. Thank you. Now, this key management personnel is a related party to P. But the key management personnel is a human being. This man is an individual. That is a human being. He's not a robot. Because he's a human being, he has family members. Not all the family members are regarded as related parties, only the nuclear. The spouse, the children, and what we you call domestic partner. The spouse, the children, and we we call domestic partner. Domestic partner. Now the question is, who is a spouse? Weyere ukunu. Mwamwarye no mumuni bio. Honorable Bill Bills. You don't have this one. A child, I don't know. That one you can have some. But uh, I don't think you have some. Domestic partner. Maybe both you can have. Maybe let's look at who is a domestic partner. Who is who is a domestic partner? Domestic partner. I hope you can see my screen. Uh -huh. A person who is living with another in a close personal and sexual relationship. That is a domestic word, partner. It goes beyond boyfriend, girlfriend, no. They are living together in a personal and sexual relationship. That's a domestic partner. They take decisions for each other. The only difference between a domestic partner and the married people are the fact that one is married and one is not married. They do everything married people do. The exception of the fact that they are not married. That together they have children, they can even have four children, five. She said, domestic partner. They are very powerful. 
very powerful uh, people. Very powerful. I'm told that it's possible for someone to get married and still have a domestic partner. So, okay. I thought it wasn't possible, but that's not what we are discussing here. So now you understand who is a domestic or partner, domestic partner. So your spouse, your children, your domestic partner, they are your close family members, apart from these three, forget. You may want to ask, who is your child? Your child. One, can be your biological child, the one who came from your, you know, you know, thing, yes. Then two, it could be an adopted person legally. A person that legally is regarded as your, as your child. Okay. These are your related parties. Your brother is not a related party. Your brother is not. Your brother is not your related party. Your uncle is not your related party. Your niece is not your related party. P can have a fund. Let's look at it as defined benefit. Plan or fund. Once P has a fund, a pension fund, that P appoint the trustees for this fund. It's P who controls this fund. The fund being seen as a separate legal entity is related to P. And for that matter, is related to anybody who is related to P. Any question? We did here, we did here. Priscilla, your hand is still up. Is it the old one? Oh, I the P again. The plan. The plan. This one. Your organization has a fund that is managed by the trustees appointed by your organization. The trustees can be fired by your organization. Your organization has the power to appoint and fire the trustees. It means that your organization controls that fund. The fund is seen as a separate legal entity. And for that matter, it's related to P and is related to anybody who is related to P. Therefore, the fund, this fund is a related party to all of them. So what I've done here, they are all related parties. Thank you. Any question? If there's no question, let's play some questions. Sure, mm. um, you are starting your dinner at this time. They call 1 a.m. <laughs> Or related party. Okay. Let's go to this one. This one is only is helping us to identify the related parties. Then the second one, uh, we are not only identifying 
we are supposed to uh, draft, should I say, the related party disclosure that we are supposed to draft. So let's see. Very simple. So let you know, we have the Mohammedim. It is not easy. The Mohammedim. Question 27. That madam should read for us. Hey, am I recording or what? Yes, I'm recording. Who was our reader? Who was our reader? Hey, to do that, she said, I'm going to jai, 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 jai. Okay. 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 OL has carried out several transactions with the following individuals or entities. So one, AK Associates provides information technology services to OL. One of the directors of OL is also the partner in AK Associates. Mm -hmm. Two. Okay, pause. We are taking it one by one. So who okay. can answer the I for I? They said I required. Can you read the requirement for me? Required. Comment as to whether the above individuals or entities are related parties of the company or not. Support your argument with references from the international accounting standards. Okay. Assuming that that one. Yes, so I, who is answering it for us? Fast fact, Nayanko. Hey, this is my boy Diana. AK Associates mm -hmm. and LO are related party. So we are but looking at. Oh shit. Gone. I, um, can you still see the screen? Oh, it's blurred. Okay, you can see the screen, but the writings are too small now. Yes, I didn't like. Come
Okay, you can now answer. Mm -hmm. You can answer. Well, someone was answering. Okay, OF. He said, tell us those who are not related parties and those who are related to OL as well. So, <laughs> the data of OL is a related party. Why? Is a key management word personnel. That is, is a related party. AK. AK associate is not. A related party. I hope you understand why it is not a related. It is not a related party. I've I'll meet all of you. So please, you can omit yourself and answer me. No, please. Does not have any significant influence. In no, one of the directors in OL is also a partner in AK and associate. We are asking, is AK and associate a related party to OL? Senior, you are a partner uh, of uh, your company and also a data at one touch. Is one touch and your company, are they related parties? Yes. No. If I, I may say, because um, AK Associate provides information technology service to OL. Since they provide service to OL, they are related parties. Okay. But as to the director be the associate member, uh, they are not related parties. That's the director. Okay. And, le, le, uh, let, me, let me come in here. Under the related party, I think there's one thing that maybe I should have closed with it. The following are not related parties. We are not Papa. The following are not related parties. Government. Government, you have utility providers. You have customers. You have suppliers. Then you have the bank. Unless any of these have a representative on your board or is a major shareholder, you don't have any influence or control. But if you go and take a loan and per the loan agreement, the bank is supposed to appoint one member onto your board. It means that the bank is now taking part in the operating and financial decisions of the entity. And for that matter, the bank becomes a related party. Now, answer my question. AK Associate is not a related party. This man here, key management personnel, has influence in OL and AK. OL and then AK has no relationship. Do you remember Associate? We said that one person can have two associates. 
the two associates are not related parties. Yeah. Okay. Madam, read the next one for us. Okay. Two. SS Bank Limited is the main lender. By virtue of an agreement, it has appointed a nominee director on the board of OL. Who can answer that? Mm -hmm. Is the bank a related party to OL? Yes. Yes, sir. SS Bank. Is a related party. And you want to work as a so mute your mic. You should should I meet all of you and solve the questions I'm, I'm, I'm myself after that I will meet you no about 9 9 p.m hmm. SL Bank is a related party yeah. why because it has a nominee it has a nominee on the board. On the board of what? OL. Meaning they are they are taking part in the operating and financing activities of the entity. I I I let's go. I I I. Mr. Z, who supplies raw materials to OL, is the brother of chief executive officer of the company. This is not related party. Who and who are not related parties? Mr. Z is not related. The CEO. Is a related party to OL, right? Yes, sir. But Mr. Z is, is not. not a related party. You need to tell us. I said, if you are not the one, if you are not the one, okay. Mr. Z is not a related party. Why? Because he's a brother to the CEO, meaning he's not a close family member. This close family member is very important. In accordance to the standard, it's not a related party because it's not a close family or member. That's all. A, a close family member to the CEO. It's only a brother. Let's move on. I will. JB Limited is the distributor of OL's products and have exclusive distribution rights. Has right. the exclusive distribution right. I like that one. Has the exclusive distribution right. Uh -huh. For the province of province Punjab. Mm -hmm. mm, that's it. Are they related party? Who and who are related parties? Fast, 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 fast. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. JBL. JBS. It's a related party to OL. JB is not a related party. 
full exclusive right why are they but you don't take part in the operating and financial decisions of the entity until you have a representative on my board you are not a related party Interesting. no control no influence you don't have representative on my board V. V. Mr. T is the general manager marketing of OL and is responsible for all major decisions made in respect of sales prices and discounts. Mr. So T. Uh, is he a general, uh, is he a related party? Yeah. Yes, he's a key management person. Okay. He's a related party. Because it's a key management or personnel. Person. Mm -hmm. Six. VI. All else gratuity fund is administered by the trustees appointed by the company. So the so, gratuity fund. Yes. It's administered it's by the trustees. A related party to what? To OL, okay. right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Seven. MM Limited is the leading supplier of OL. This one, the explanation is that OL controls the fund, right? They say we should add explanation as whether they are or they are not. Okay. JB, we said that no establishment of control, control or influence. Okay, let's move on. Seven. MM Limited is the leading supplier of OL mm -hmm. and supplies 60% of OL's raw materials. Mm -hmm. There's no related, related party. Why? Because there's no control or significant influence. Okay. No establishment of a control or significant influence. Mm -hmm. Eight. Ms. V, who conducted various training programs for the employees of the company, is the wife of OL's chief executive officer. So it's the, a related party, right? Yes, to the CEO. Okay. It's a related party of o OL. Why? Because it's a close family member. Family member of a key management personnel. That is the CEO. Okay. okay. That's all we are done with the question. Is that it's a very simple question? Uh, I should have talked, I should have solved question 26 too with you. But time, well, that question too is a nice question. They can ask you. That question, they are all from your question mark, but the 26, they can ask you. So, Madam read and let's see. We can discuss it quickly. Okay. okay. A, 26A. The determination of the pause for me, please. I want to clean the board. Can I? Please give them one minute. Let them rest. Take a picture. That's all. BC. Oh, Archiba Bray.
Ok. Oui. Yes. <laughs> Comme des développements, je suis le meilleur sam. Ok. Question, uh, question 26. Ok. A. The determination of related party status depends on the substance of the relationship, not just the legal form. Required. One, define a related party transaction and state any two examples of such transactions. Madam, answer the question. Related transaction. Related party transaction is a transaction that involves a um, broken chain between uh, related uh, parties. Uh, 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 uh. Transaction that involves broken chain. Broken chain. Broken I said I'm broken chain. <laughs> Bro broken matter. Broken matter. <laughs> Broken blocks. <laughs> Transaction between two or more related words, um, parties. And the related parties are those that I said that they have an unbroken chain. There's either an influence or control between them. Are we getting it? Okay. Okay. So examples. Examples, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Examples of related party transactions. Purchase of assets among related parties. When related parties, they do the following. They are related party transactions. They, they buy assets among themselves. When you buy an asset from a related party, I get in it. They can give a loan to themselves. What again? They can sell goods to themselves. What again? They can they can deliver services to themselves. What again? Any transaction be a be. They can do what? Leasing. A leasing part. What? Leasing. Leasing. Yes, it's part. They are all related party transactions. That, these are examples. Let's move on. I, I. Based on IS24 related party disclosures, state any four conditions under which an entity can be said to be Madam, related let me do some, to uh, Thank you. Let me do some. Uh, I'm, I'm real cool here. Number one, Victor will be, give me one. There are more than the four they are talking about. Yes, give me one, Victor OV. Victor. Okay, if he doesn't talk, I'll remove him right now. Victor, your mic is on. Victor OV. You're in your picture, you are in suit with yellow tie. <laughs> Alex Abba or Abba, please hold on. There's this person here, Magic Man. Magic Man, please answer the question. Uh, do you really understand what I just did? But then let me go and do another standard. Magic Man. Mute your mic, you didn't mute it. Answer to you, no answer. Okay. With OV. Okay. Magic man. I muted you, you have omitted yourself. Answer, him. answer.
Emma Fanu Taco. Dominic Amachi Jenfi. Show give me one 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 one. Ah, is it like stress or fatigue? That is why you are not answering. So if you are stressed, what should I do? What should I do? Well, I am the one talking. Dominic, I'm actually if you kindly answer my question. Ah. Okay. Can I answer? Mo, mo, I just am over Konato. Yantuasu. Safwa, you can answer. Um, okay. I was like, the party controls the NCT or has significant influence when over the, the party oh, is a close pause. family member. So please pause. Is, please pause. Wait, is that Safwa talking? So the party controls what? The entity. You said there is significant what? Influence. That is if uh, the party controls another party, I get in it. If a party has a significant influence over an university, you, that is how you are supposed to state it. Then what again? What again did I talk about? Key management personnel. When Key the management personnel the of an entity. Of an entity. Mm -hmm. And this party is a close family. Close member. family members of the key management personnel of an entity. What again? Mm -hmm. Domestic partner. Domestic partner is, is a close family member. Don't bring domestic partner in here right now. Okay. So, so, you are so much interested in domestic partner. <laughs> So <laughs> it's okay. We talked so, about the uh, so uh, fund, the fund, the pension funds as well. The the fund that is controlled by the entity is also related. I get it. This has on the so what about uh, subsidiary and associates? They are all controlled. Once an entity controls another party, they are all related. Okay. Now the A part, don't joke with it. They can ask you in exams. At your level, that's the question that you ask you. What I'm coming to go through, I have to stop because they must ask the level three children right now. B, Madam Lenko. Um, Sorry, <laughs> Madam, will meet yourself. There was some noise. Colary PLC has two mm -hmm. subsidiaries, mm -hmm. Shelley Limited and Byron Limited. Mm -hmm. The share capital of Colary PLC is held by Adam and Asamoah at 60% mm -hmm. and 40% respectively. Take your time. Take Adam. your time. Please start again. Let me underline certain things for them. Okay. Colary PLC has two subsidiaries. Shelly Limited and Byron Limited. Okay. The share capital of Colored PLC is held by. So Adam. they have this. They have two subsidiaries. The share capital of C is held by Adams and then Asamoah. So that is the parent, right? Yes. The 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 parents are controlled by Adams and then Asamoa. At sixty percent and forty percent respectively. Okay. Mm -hmm. Adam is the chairman of Colored PLC. Okay. While Asamoa is the managing director. So they are all key management personnel. Yes. Okay. And the major shareholder as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Shelly Limited is wholly owned by Claret PLC. Mm -hmm. On 31st December 2014, Shelly Limited sold a parcel of land it vacated some years back to Byron Limited for pause, two million. Pause, pause. Shelly Limited is wholly owned by C. Meaning the whole hundred percent is for C. On that very December 2014, this one is wholly owned. On that very December 2014, Shelly Limited showed a parcel of land. It's a parcel of land is vacated some years back to B for two million. Don't forget two B2 is a subsidiary of what of C. Is that not it? Yes. Okay. The latter company, that is the Byron. The latter company owned and managed by Adam Sun. My God. Is owned <laughs> by and managed by the chairman of the parent company, Sun. <laughs> or the son of the chairman of the parent company. What a tree. And managed by Adam Sun intends to develop the potentials of the site as a location for an event center. The current amount at that date was estimated to be 5 million. This is not fair value. The current amount of the land alone is 5 million, but they said they will sell it at what? For two million. two million, they are selling it two at million. an amount which is less than even half of the price. Yeah. Can you imagine? Mm -hmm. This sale has not been reflected in the financial statement of Shelly for the year. Blah blah blah. Outline how the above transaction should be recorded in the financial statement of Shelly and the consolidated financial statement of. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so Shelly. Shelly is wholly owned by C. One. Shelly must disclose the name of his parent. So you should disclose C as parent. Now, once he does that, it means that. Shelly and C are related or parties. Not be so. Yeah. Okay. And the son, another related party is the son, the key management person, Adams. Adams, son of Adam. C and S plus the Baron Canada is the Baron. They are all related parties. I hope you know what is happening. They are all related parties. To the extent to the extent that they are even selling the amount, I mean, the asset, the land, at a price less than half of the current amount, means that said transaction should be disclosed. They are supposed to disclose where the land is situated, the amount that they intend to sell the land to the science company. They are supposed to disclose everything. They are supposed to disclose, but they are even supposed to disclose the current amount of the land so that the readers of the financial statement will understand why it was they have intention to sell it at two million because they are related or parties. That information should, should be available to the public. Don't write it aggressively like I'm saying it. <laughs> 
So it's not the all, all these questions are in your question bank. I get pin so and this person say your question kakawa ana yeah so we are sure say me here in fast number nabi so so only me there the biba be your wah okay yeah just am passing fast number Okay, let's go to question 20. Question 20 is in your question bank. Um, question 20 is on page what? Page 29. Yeah, it's, and yet, you see, my press away. Yes, you. Mm -hmm. Or My boy for me, so my bread. Have you seen a question? Yes. Okay. Okay. Madam Reader, let's go. Question 20. On January 1, year 5, Mary PLC had 5 million ordinary shares in issue. The following transactions and shares took place during the next year. February 1, A, one for five bonus issue. Mm -hmm. April one. Yeah, a, a one for five. Uh -huh. <laughs> April one. A one for two rights issue mm -hmm. at one CD per share. Mm -hmm. The market price of the shares prior to the right issue was four CDs. Mm -hmm. June one. An issue at full market price of 800,000 shares. Mm -hmm. In year five, Mary made a profit before tax of 3,000, no, 3,362,000. It paid ordinary dividends of 1,200,000 cities mm -hmm. and preference dividends of 800,000 cities. Mm -hmm. Tax was six hundred six thousand six hundred six thousand five hundred. The reported earning per uh, share for year four. Tax was six thousand five hundred. Six hundred five hundred. Six hundred thousand five hundred. 
I see. <laughs> the reported earning per share for year four was 32 pesos. Required. Calculate the earning per share for year five and the adjusted earning per share for year four for comparative purposes. Let's start. We start with five million or nine shares, right? Yeah. Okay. There's a bonus and then there's a right issue. Let's deal with the two issues quickly. Then we can do our abracadabla here. Okay, so bonus. We need a bonus fraction. What is the bonus fraction? One for five. One over five. The bonus fraction is one for five. <laughs> they say one for five, right? Yeah. One for five means that the bonus fraction is the existing plus one all over five. So that is six over five. I hope you understand these things. Yes. Bonus fraction is just the existing number of shares plus the bonus shares all over the existing number of shares. That's the bonus fraction. The existing number of shares is how much? Five million. So five million plus one for five. So plus one over five times five million. All over all, five million, right? Yes. Hmm? Nah. yes. Five million. One over five times five is what? It's one, right? Huh? Yes. So one million plus five million, you know, six million over five million, you know, six over five. Yes. So I think you be sharing this special, then they're better than power. Okay, so that is the bonus fraction. Bonus fraction. You can just use the term straight away. So that when they say two for five, you feel that the bonus fraction is five plus two all over hot. Two for five means that it means what? Two new shares for every five existing, right? Uh, yes. So existing plus new all over hot existing. That's what it means. Bonus fraction. You can write it down. It's existing plus new all over hot existing. Look at the terms. Mm. Okay, now let's look at the right issue factor. You know that is the cum right price. How do you know that one? Over the X right price. So let's go and calculate the X right price. What is the terms of the right issue? One for two. One for two. So for every two existing, you'll be giving one. Two existing. You'll be giving one right. Okay. As are the date of the right issue, what was the market price per share of the existing chess? The market price of the shares prior to the right issue was four. Yes. You see that? Yes. And what was the right issue price or the right on price? One. One. So when you multiply, you get eight. 
you get one, this nine, this three. So X right price. I'm assuming these things, you know how to do it too. Then I think yeah, yeah, and this special. We only solve the question. So this is equal to three. I hope you understand. Oh. Did you understand? Yes. <laughs> Therefore, the right issue factor. Is equal to over three. Mm -hmm. The cum right price is what four, four, right? So mm -hmm. four over what? three. How we are there? Let's now calculate our weighted number of shares for year five. Weighted number of shares for year five. Weighted number of first shares. Uh huh. We have to start from scratch, and Robert, then please wait. Where from the four over three? That's the right issue factor. Cum right price over x right price. The cum is the four, and the x right price is calculated as three. Okay. So the weighted number of shares. The weighted number of shares. We need to take all the shares that has actually been what issued. All those shares must be considered. We are, we are supposed to be using the cumulative approach, the standard recommended approach. So let's see. From the start, per January, right? Eh? The year ends when? Were we given the end of the year? No. Okay, so let us do this at the end of uh, December. But well, that is the beginning, first January, I get it. They had 5 million shares in issue. Okay. So first January 2015, they had 5 million shares in issue. Uh, let me do this. So, February 2015, up to when another issue was made. When was the next issue made? First February. First February 2015. Oh, yeah, Let us do the year five is 2015. So you see what is happening. I feel no be here or yeah, German. So wait a number of shares. At the start of the year, up to when an issue is made, first February. That was five million, right? Yes. Then from first February 2015, up to when the next issue was made. That's yes. on first or April. Yes. That is five million plus. What was the bonus issue? One over, One over five. five times what? Five million. That will give us like six million, right? Yes, six million. Okay. Now from 1st April 2015, up to when another issue was made, fair June. Mm. It will be this six million, this, uh, this plus this, right? Yes. Plus the next issue that was made. The next issue, 800. 800,000. I'll be at there. So these are the shares that have been in issue. Now we have to go and multiply by the period. So this one. Um, first June. Where is first June? First June. Okay. This up to first February. We've left one. First February. Then this one is up to April. Then uh, first April to first June. 
No, we have interchanged it. So let's see. From 1st January up to 1st February, it's 5 million. Mm. Do you get it? Yes. Then on 1st February, they made a bonus issue of how much? So much. Mm. So that one too, we added. So that was from 1st February to 1st April mm. when the right issue was made. Mm. Now the right issue has to be here. This should be right issue. Not this one. The right issue was one for two. Do you know that? Hmm? Mm. One for two. And it will be based on the existing sets here. Oh. It will be based on the existing sets here. This existing share, which is six million. So mm -hmm. it means that the right issue, they made an issue of one over two times or six million. Do you agree? Yes. Then on 1st June 2015, they made another issue of 800,000. So that was there up to the end of the year 2015. So this half will give us 3 million, adding this, will give us 9 million. Mm. So 9 million plus 800,000. 800, we now multiply by the period. When we add all the period, it should be equal to 12. Otherwise, we are wrong. Unless that is the first year of operation. And the entity did not start at the beginning of the year. Please, what is this? The period. 1 over 12. What is this? The period, February, March, two yes. over. Two, two. Two, yes. two. You know two? Yes. February, March. Then this one, April, May. Two over 12. Then this one, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, O. Oh, so eight. seven. Five, eight. Seven. It's seven over hard, 12. Wow. Now let's see. The bonus issue, when was it made? First February. The standard says that to adjust the bonus element in the in the bonus issue, go and multiply the weighted number of cells before the bonus issue by the bonus fraction. Yeah. The bonus issue was made on this date. Yes. So this is the weighted number of set before the bonus issue, right? Yes. So that is times what? The bonus fraction of six over hot. Five. Five. The same that applies to the right issue. It says that go and multiply the weighted number of sets to adjust the bonus element in the right issue. Go and multiply the weighted number of sets before the right issue by the right issue factor. The right issue factor is what? Four over three. Four over three. And one was the right issue. Uh, April. First April. First April. This. I get in it. It means that before is this and this. Do you agree? Yes. This is the right issue. This is the before. It was issued on this date. So this is the before. I hope you are there. So we, we need to multiply all this by all. Four over three. You multiply this one by four over hot three. That's all you are done. Very simple question. We turn on of says, let's get it, then we can quickly look at how to calculate the basic earnings per se. The first one, what's the answer? Once you ask I know you understand. This earnings per se. If you have not gone through the principle to understand, then it will take us a very long time for you to understand. The first one the I can do because of the time. Uh huh. Five hundred. This five hundred. Mm. Then this.
Left with another tray. So, so, so give it to me again. One, three, 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 three. And the next one. Theodosi, hey, is it Theodosia? Theodora, Theodora. Sir. What you are they want to ask you? Um, mm, we haven't done one million five hundred. Oh, you have a bit there. This one is, is sir. Yes. The first one is wrong, bro. So five hundred. Is what? Is so far your hand is up. Ask your question. No, it's not a question. It's the same thing. The first one. I'm not getting the 500. I think it's 6686. Okay, so that's how it's what? 666. I bought 10. I bought them. Miss Russell, i Six 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 six. Uh -huh. Then the last one. Then we have for the new thing. Six 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 seven. Okay. The last one five seven one six. Six, six, seven. All of you guys confirmed. You waste time on things that you are not supposed to waste time on. Look at how long it's taking you to give me a figure. Uh, 9216667. Nine two one, one six six seven. So one six six. Ah, give me the figure again. Nine two one. Nine two nine one, two one six six six, six seven. Uh, okay. Let's get our earnings. The total and in the side is three three six two. Before tax. And then they give us the ordinary dividend. We don't need that. The preference is what we need and the tax. So let's see. Let's Basic earnings per share is equal to. What's the profit before tax? Three million, three sixty thousand. We the formula now, sir. Go for a bit confused. Wait a number of shares. So let's see. So give me the figure, profit after tax. 
three million three hundred and sixty-two thousand. Three million. Three hundred and sixty-two thousand. Minus the tax, ah. Uh -huh. Six hundred thousand. No, five hundred. Mm hmm. Minus the preference dividend. Um. One point two million. One point two million. No, no, eight hundred thousand. It assumes that the preference dividend is original preference dividend. Okay. Divided by the weighted number of shares. What will be the answer? Zero point two one. Per share, right? Yeah. The comparative. They have given us the comparative of what? Zero point what? Zero point three two. You said for to get the comparative, you multiply the earnings per share of the comparative without the effect of the earnings per share by the reciprocal or the inverse of the fractions, whether the bonus fraction or the right issue fraction. In this question, we have all of them there. So the bonus fraction was what? Six over five. It would yeah. be five over what? Six. The right issue fraction was what? Four over three, so it would be what? Three over four. So, so that we get the comparative. How much are we getting? How much are we getting? Zero point two. Zero point two. Ideally, we should have ended at eight, but at least I wanted those who wanted the standard to, to get. If not, my something small, I get in it. Uh -huh. So it's not like I want to squeeze you or something. I mean, uh, I'll, I'll end very soon. So let me solve some one question somewhere in addition or something. Um, but some people, next time if I ask them to come, they will not come because I say, mean, give me bosses. What about that diluted? Were you asked to calculate diluted? I'm asking a question. Yes. You were not asked to calculate diluted. All these, I think I've even solved them in my book also. They have never solved you pen any, but uh, you can try your hands on them. Calculate the earnings as no diluted. The other ones, they are diluted. The way some of you are responding, it's as if the earnings per share is a topic you have not learned it. So that yeah, would mean that. Uh huh. And to me, cry. Me have me. Let's look at this question. And I is thirty-seven. The following issue have arisen during the preparation of Skeptics' Broad Financial Statement for the year and the thirty-first May twenty fourteen. Skeptic has two potential liabilities to assess. The first is an outstanding court case concerning a customer claiming damages 
for losses due to faulty component supplied by skeptic. The second is the provision required for the product warranty claims against 200,000 units of retail goods supplied with one year warranty. The estimated outcomes of the two liabilities are court case and then product warranty claims. Let's see. And in accordance with IS 37, you are supposed to use what you call best estimate. That's what you use to estimate the provision. So we say best estimate of provision. So court case. What is the best estimate of this court case? There is 10% chance of no damages awarded, 65% chance of damages of 4 million, 25% chance of damages of 6 million. What is the best estimate? The 65%. What is the best estimate? Hmm? Of damage. What is the modal marker? No, then you go and write the frequency as the modal mark. But say what is the best estimate of the court case? The best estimate of uh, you don't know these things too. Or you are tired. The best estimate of the court case is the amount in relation to the highest chance or probability. So it's four million. Four million. Don't say sixty-five percent. Sixty-five percent is not best estimate. Court case. I'll be how much? Okay. Then what about warranty provision? Warranty provision. Warranty provision. What will be the warranty provision? Look at the question there. Best estimate of a warranty provision is just what you call expected value. How do you calculate expected value? Expected value is that picking the respective expected return that you multiply by the probabilities. So this one, we are looking at cost. So you multiply 70% by zero, 20% by 25, 10% by 120. Don't forget, we are referring to 200,000 units. I get it. So you need to multiply all of them by 200,000 words units. So this is how the warranty and provision will look like. Oh. Uh, help me. 70% 70 70 of what? Zero. Times 200,000. The next percentage? 25%. Of what? Um. $25. It's 20% of $25. Are you people tired? No, sir. No one sir. How many no, figures have you given me? Uh, 20%. You know, help me. I'll finish very soon. 
It will not be even up to 20 or 50 minutes. How close? 20% and short. 25. Oh, 25. Times the 200. 100,000. So the remaining is what? Is it 10? Yes, 10% 10 of 120. 120 times what? 200. Mm -hmm. Figures and numbers. So, of course, the first one is zero. Zero. Okay. So, the other one is Second one, one million. Okay. Okay. Two point four million. That will make it three point four. So the answer will be seven point four. How we are there? That's the best estimate of the provision. What is an intangible asset? Are we done with the question? We are done. So advise and quantify where possible how the advice is situated in. So, you know, what would be the advice here? So, I mean, let me snapshot the uh, solution. Oh. Advice and quantify how the above. So you should make provision for the court case as a liability, as well as the warranty provision. They are they should all be treated as liability. And the liability is what you have calculated. Okay. I'm asking a question: what is an intangible asset? It's an asset with no physical substance. Like it can. You are doing IC. An identifiable non monetary asset without physical or substance. Substance. Very important. And state the intangible asset that fall within the scope of IAS 38. They are talking of the purchased ones. So we have computer software, research and development, advertising, brands, and the amount. Four criteria. Explain the four criteria that need to be satisfied before the spiritual can be recognized as an intangible asset. From the definition, you could see identifiability it's an mm -hmm. identifiable so there should be some identifiability you should be able mm -hmm. to identify it yeah mm? yes then it should be separable it should be separable you should be able to separate it you should be able to separate it number three there should be control you should have control over the intangible asset. When we say that you have control, it means that you have the power to restrict others from having access to that asset. Then the last one, the benefit from the I asset should flow to what? Should flow to the entity. At your level, you can be narrating some of these questions. But you go there, we'll ask you. There's a question I should have set an IFRS system. Let me ask you. What is the exemption under IFRS system? Under IFRS system, 
all assets that are leased should be recognized as an asset. But it gives one exemption. What is that exemption? Under IFRS system, Lisi accounting, once the right to transfer an asset is made, the Lisi must recognize an asset. But there is one exemption. What is that exemption? You can ask you later more. ACC, they like asking this particular question. What is that exemption? The standard gives two exemptions, two exemptions, uh, under uh, which an uh, asset, uh, under which a lease asset may not be recognized as an asset. Uh, what are the two exemptions? One. Huh? Minerals. I, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> you don't take, I'll take you to a court of competent jurisdiction. <laughs> Madam Safwa, are you raised your hand? So when it is within 12 months. Sorry. So we are Short talking about a short term value lease. Assets. Mention that if it is a short term lease, then the entity may, on initial recognition, opt to treat the lease as an expense and not capitalize it. That is a short term lease, a lease within what, 12 months. Adam, are you there? Yes. Then two. Yes. Uh huh. Two. If it is of low value, low value asset, the my fire system can move share down. If it is of low value, low value asset, very important. You know, usually when I do the inter intervention, I concentrate more on the standards. We do almost all the standards, then by the time we get to consolidation and other things, see that the town will not be on our side. So I felt like this time, let me touch on everything. After all, I've given you the document. You can sit down and then go through, especially the standard. Uh, most of them, you can you have them in my standard book or other books, you can have maybe solutions to them. I get in it. Uh -huh. So let's try, as we, are, as we are living, try and then solve more of the standards. We are all on the intervention, uh, intervention page in case Maybe you need a solution to a particular standard that you cannot find it in the book that I've directed you. When you call, I we can give you a what I'm someone can even help you with the page number. Then you try and then uh, get it. I told you that try and get the C question bank and solve the interpretation questions in it, the ethical issues and the conceptual framework. Your 35 marks is at stake. If you're able to get at least 25, eh, you are gone. You are gone. At least you can get similar. You can be able to solve and get 25 marks. Once you get 25 marks, the rest you can get 25 to add up. I've given you secret. Secret. Practice, practice, practice. If there is no question, I ask my case. If there is a question, please come again. Interpretation, ethical issues. Oh, Madam, this thing, my my candidate, the general, uh, Mr. General, it's an opinion of Mr. Tikan. Or you were not here. I said interpretation, ethical <laughs> issues, conceptual <laughs> framework. In the syllabus, these are 35 marks. Are you there? Yes, please. So the 35 marks, try and get at least 25. Solve the questions in the question bank just to have, just to be conversant to the kind of questions they can ask. You go there, the question now, can you be able to solve it? Bills, ask your question. Bills, ask your question. Uh, you said you sent us the 
contact to deal with when it comes to the IFRS, right. the question bank, but so far we haven't gotten it. Okay, I've done that of Kekos. There is some in yeah. Kekos. No, here. Accra. What of Accra? Accra it was, um, yesterday I asked the level three people to, you know, usually I don't want to call them on uh, non-working days. You know, usually Saturdays they come around. But they didn't remind me yesterday. And on Sunday like this, I can't call them. It's not fair. I get in it. So tomorrow, try and remind me. I'll get that feedback for you. And I'm told they even do delivery in our cries, but in our cry, they do delivery. All right, so all the best now. Shall we pray? Hello. 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 So, uh, one lady should pray with us, a gentleman will pray with us, and then I will pray. I have not left you. We'll still be talking more on the on the intervention page. I, I even have to send you the original conceptual framework, the old one. That's the one I say is using now. So I'll send the old conceptual framework to you, okay? Hmm? Yes, please. I'll send this one. Please, and a lady should pray with us. Then a gentleman will pray, then I'll pray. I hope you have gotten your uh, value for your money, or? Oh, yes. Thank so you. we only did three standards. Or... Is it? We did three of the standards. We did three of the standards. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the, the rest of the standards are there. The advantage is that the standards, the, the solutions plenty. There are some of them are attached solutions. Those are that solutions. You can always um, get it in book. So just get in touch on the don't send me private messages. Send the messages on the WhatsApp group so that if you don't reply, everybody will see that I didn't reply you. See that at least if someone asks a question, oh, I need a solution to this question, I send it there. Then another person will ask the same question. They do not want to do anything. So once a person asks the question and it's on the page, it addresses this um this um the same question that others too may be asking i get in it i get in it yes sir yeah it's loving and it's it's even written at where the studio is once there's light out i at that if i can even get vehicle so let's see what we can do so long as you've gotten value for your money if you have not gotten value for your money there then let me then let me continue One more standard. One more standard. A lady should pray. Hello. The IT guy has to work overnight to make sure all your videos are available tomorrow. Can he pray so that he can work on it for you? Okay, I'm praying. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for such a wonderful opportunity like this. I pray, committing these ones onto your hands. Daddy, even as they prepare for the exam, I pray that you guide them. I pray that you protect them. Protect them from this COVID-19 virus, even if they get into contact with each other. Father, I pray that you grant them traveling mercies as they prepare for their exam. Help them to pass the exam so that when they succeed, we will all come together and sing one song that indeed is the Lord our God who had made us success. 
This and many more we ask in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 All right. So